Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Jackster TV here back again bringing you guys yet another new Forza Horizon 4 video. So now today's video, I'm just going to be going ahead and simply sharing with you guys every single step to this all new glitch on Forza Horizon 4. Now using this glitch, you guys are actually able to unlock any rare card that you guys would like. And this glitch I've actually never shown here on the channel, so it's going to be a good one guys. So I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and stick around to the end of the video so you do not miss a single step of this. It's very helpful guys if you do want a rare card collection. Now this glitch all around probably has to be one of the best glitches in the game. It's very quick and easy to complete and all around just has a very little amount of steps so i'm gonna go ahead and share every single step to it with you guys here in today's video so as always if you do go ahead and enjoy this video or find this video helpful make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new and you haven't already and make sure to turn those post notifications on never miss a new video from me i post daily content here on the channel so yeah that'll wrap it up for today's intro right here i hope you guys do go ahead and enjoy this video and make sure to remember guys my four stars and four club will be down in the description along with my discord server link so if you're interested in joining anything here on the channel it'll be linked down below in the description and yeah um as well guys today's post notification shout out goes to someone right here up on the screen thank you for having your post notifications on if you want a post notification shout out in the next video all i have to do is subscribe post notifications on leave a like on the video and then tell me in the comments down below as well guys if you do want another shout out i'm gonna put uh just a little um forza horizon 4 thing up on the screen right there or maybe just my channel logo uh at some point in the video so uh every video i give a post notification shout out and something new i'm starting is uh some point in the video i'm gonna uh flicker a little um thing but make it still visible uh just a little logo of something throughout the video so don't skip through the video guys make sure to watch the whole video if you want to shout out in tomorrow's video and uh uh, yeah, also turn your post notifications on. Tell me in the comments down below and leave a like on this video if you want a post notification shout out. But yeah, now that I wrapped up for today's intro right here, and hope you guys do go ahead and enjoy this video. And let's go ahead and hop right into it. By the way, guys, something I forgot to mention is the intro. Well, basically, I brought it up. Um, I'm going to flicker a little thing up on screen like I just did right there. It's probably going to be my channel logo, so look out for that. It will be anywhere um, on the screen. Uh, something I forgot to mention, uh, the way you actually get the shout out first person to actually find it so watch through the whole video guys do not skip through otherwise you probably won't find it. it'll just be one little split second guys but it'll still be visible so if you do want a shout out besides from the post notification shout out be try to be the first one guys watch the whole video and try to be the first one to find a little uh flicker that which i'll put up on the screen like it'll just be there for just a second so i'll just put up my logo just for a second and then that's an example and i'll put that up somewhere in the video so first person to actually find it will get a shout out in the next video i'm continue doing this for every new video guys along with the post notification shout outs so just something i wanted to add in uh because i kind of didn't really explain it that well in the intro so now let's go ahead and hop right in today's video and i hope you guys do go ahead and enjoy it so let's get right on with it And if you are the first one to find the little logo that I'll put up on screen just for a split second, uh, make sure to comment down below, found it with a timestamp, and then that's that. And then you will get a shout out only if you are first, guys. So watch the whole video, and I hope guys do go ahead and enjoy. Um, so yeah, I forgot to mention that again. So make sure to put a timestamp. Uh, so comment down below with a time timestamp wherever you saw it at, and then make sure to say found it on the rest of the comment then you should be able to get a shout out if you're first guys so uh yep yeah, good luck and hope you guys do go ahead and enjoy this video all right guys so finally we're gonna go ahead and hop right into the glitch every single step of it sorry for the wait guys i had to get that out of the way because i know a lot of you guys do want shout outs so you kind of have to work for it guys if you do want a shout out so uh by the way guys the post notification shouts are just random um just a random comment picker so uh yeah that's that but besides from that guys hopping right into the glitch this is how it's going to go starting it off so if we go ahead and hit our forza pause mini here we go over to the left and we go ahead and select our festival playlist a couple different things will come up but the first thing that we're actually going to select and the main thing is going to be our weekly force on challenge now uh as you guys can see there are four seasons and uh summer starts it then there's autumn then there's winter and we are currently in winter then the ended off there's spring so basically uh there's a week for every season so summer's one week autumn and winter and spring are all one week guys so basically it resets every month and we get a new thing so um yeah if we go ahead and hit our um 
weekly Forest Dawn challenge here uh, for winter, which we are currently in. Pretty sure it just started today. So yeah, if we go ahead and hit this right here, you guys will see that we'll be able to select our Forest Dawn shop uh, for whatever season, guys. So basically with the Forest Dawn shop, um, this big one right here, as you guys can see, I'm on the 08 Lamborghini Reventon Forest Edition. So with this one right here, it's always going to be a car. Now for this one, it's either going to be a really uh, rare, one of the rare uh, types of Forest Edition cars or just a normal, slightly rare car. But these ones over to the right, actually, these ones are actually the very rare cars that you can actually get. Now, this week, I don't know why it's not actually that rare, but it is uh, somewhat of a rare car. There's a couple up on the auction house every day. Uh, so it's not the rarest thing in the world, guys. But uh, the main part of the glitch was to show you guys here in just a minute is how you can actually get all these cars for free and how you can actually go back in time or in the future to check out future weeks or past weeks when there's actually a really rare car in there or something like that. So I'm going to hop right into the glitch here in just a minute, guys. But as you guys can see, they all cost a certain amount of force on points. Now, how do we get Forest Thumb Points? Sorry about that, guys. So, as you guys can see, the Revington Forest Edition, or the Revington Forest Edition is actually um, 675 Forest Thumb Points, and then this one is 650. So, the way we actually get our uh, Forest Thumb Points is actually by doing a simple little glitch, which is actually tied in with the way that we can get these rare cars. So, how do we do it? This is how you do it. So basically with the weekly force on challenges and the daily force on challenges, this is what we're going to be focusing on for the glitch and then we'll uh, get to the time traveling glitch in just a minute, guys. But for the weekly force on challenges, there's usually just uh, like it will say one challenge, but there's really just three simple challenges. But then in the one challenge itself, it'll say four. But the first challenge is just gain in a uh, type of car or just a certain car. So as you guys can see for this one, we actually have to get in a 1967 uh, Corvette Stingray 427. So, you know, that's not really a challenge. You can buy one off the auction house. I'll show wherever you want to buy it. Next one is just doing a couple of uh, maybe like skills and um, races in them. So, you know, nothing really too hard. Doesn't take up very much of your time. Maybe 10 to 15 minutes, guys. So, great way to get a lot of force on points. So, if you do have VIP, you will get uh, 200 force on points for your weekly force on challenges. Uh, or, yeah, weekly force on challenges. But up at the top, as you guys will see, it'll say win 200 because I actually do have VIP. Without it, it'll be cut in half and you'll actually just get 100. And same here with uh, the daily force on challenges. So it'll just be cut in half. Not same, uh, not the same whole uh, reward of the weekly force on challenges because for the daily challenges, you actually get 20 with VIP and 10 without them. And the daily force on challenges, you get three new ones every day and they're actually very quick and easy to complete. Uh, it's usually just completing whatever event you want, like a simple dirt trail event, which you can actually create like a 10 second little uh, instant win uh, dirt trail event. So that's actually how you could complete that the quickest. Three wreckage skills, you could just go uh, ripping around in whatever car you want, maybe maxed out, uh, just in a field. You should get that right away. And then, like, uh, so basically, here's an idea of them, um, of what daily force on challenges are. Just complete a certain skill, maybe like a... Uh, um, a speed trap, speed zone, drift zone, uh, like danger sign, wreckage skills, uh, you know, just stuff like that, guys, speed skills, uh, c uh, complete an event, or stuff like that, guys, so it's actually very easy to complete, and you will actually get a ton from it, so uh, what you're gonna wanna do starting off this glitch right here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and complete your weekly force on challenges, and your daily force on challenges, and then you'll get closer and closer to be able to bind any rare card that's actually up in the force on shop so i recommend if because it uh, depends on when you guys are watching this video but probably these two cars will be in for you guys so do not waste any of your force on points on these they're actually not that good but i will tell you guys a date uh hold on let me think of one Oh, no, I'll show you guys here in just a minute. So I'll think of a date that there was actually a lot of rare cars in there. So you're going to want to complete your weekly force on challenges and your daily force on challenges. And you guys will actually get a good bit of uh, force on points. And then you guys are getting closer and closer to being able to purchase rare cars. Because actually the most expensive things in the force on shops at the time. Now in autumn, there was actually a pretty rare car in there. It's actually a Lotus lease i think it was actually a pretty rare car you guys probably know what i'm talking about summer didn't have the rarest thing in the world but it did have a pretty rare car so i recommend that you guys can go back <coughs> two weeks in time 
So I'm going to get to that glitch right now, guys. So I'm going to save this as one clip, and then we can move on to the time traveling glitch. And then, uh, uh, basically, once we time travel, all you guys are have to, all you guys are going to want to do is just complete all your weekly fours on challenges and your daily fours on challenges, and then just keep doing the weeks before, days ahead, days before, any days that you didn't complete daily fours on challenges or weekly fours on challenges. So weeks before, days before, it's up to you guys. Um, if you want to complete the weekly fours on challenges first or the daily fours on challenges, either way, guys, you are, guys are gain. Uh, uh, closer in any way to actually being able to unlock rare cars in the past or future boards on shops so uh yeah i'll see you guys right now or here in just a minute with the time traveling glitch all right guys so hop right into the whole main glitch part of this this is also going to go starting it off so basically once you have gone ahead and completed all your weekly force on challenges and your daily force on challenges uh basically what i'm going to go ahead and show now is actually how you can time travel to either a day in the future or just a couple days in the future you know a couple days in the past a day in the past um and same with weeks and uh so on guys so basically what we're doing now we're not moving on to the whole uh part um th it's because basically the whole main way that you get rare cars is actually using your force on points as i just went uh went over so now i'm going to show you guys how to time travel which you guys can use to get all your force on points by completing um past and uh future daily force on challenges and weekly force on challenges therefore gain a bunch of force on points and then being able to purchase rare cars and same using the glitch future rare cars coming to the force on shop and past force on uh past rare cars come to the force or that were in the first on force on shop sorry i cannot talk to you guys but yeah using the glitch uh it's just the whole one glitch you guys can use it to uh get a bunch of um force on points by completing challenges that were um your past daily ones future daily ones uh same with weekly ones and stuff like that guys and then you can also use it to get uh rare cars out of future force on shops and past force on shops that's exactly what i want to say all right so now hop right into it so if you're on pc you're going to go ahead and listen up i'm going to explain to the best of my abilities how you can do it on pc and i'm going to go in depth showing every single step to the way you actually do it on xbox <clears throat> But yeah, starting off with PC, you're going to want to go ahead and enter your uh, Force Boss menu here, and then you want to go into your settings. Sorry, I don't know why I did on uh, on Xbox here, but you're going to want to go into your settings, you're going to go into your network settings, and you're going to disconnect from all Wi-Fi. So there's no internet going to your computer, and then from there, you are offline, There's uh, and then you're disconnected. So once there's no Wi-Fi going to your computer, you're going to go ahead and simply go into your date and time settings, set it either... Uh, just whatever date you want either a week or a couple days in the future you know it's up to you guys um uh just whenever you want to complete daily force on challenges or weekly force on challenges it's up to you guys and then same with when you want to get rare cars and then that's that you're going to want to save it your pc will restart then as soon as it restarts you're going to go or it loads back up after it restarts you're going to go ahead and load up forza and then you want to go back online as soon as you're in your house now a couple different things are different when doing it on xbox but it, that's how it'll work so future or 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 past it that's how it will work on pc guys so um if you guys do want to switch back uh you just want to restart your pc once again you don't have to change date and time or anything like that so just restart your pc and then um that's that you'll be back to current date and time so now for xbox the uh the part most of you guys or some of you guys may have been waiting for so what you're going to do is you want to hit your force pause menu you're going to hit your xbox pause menu we'll scroll down to magazine games and apps you're going to select that you want to go over to the app section and you'll find settings right here or you can just stay on it like i am and you want to scroll over to settings right here and you can select it from right here so but all right guys so hopping right into our settings here we're going to go ahead and scroll down to personalization we're going to scroll over to my home Xbox. Now we're going to select that. And we are going to select uh, make my home Xbox. As you guys can see, it's my home Xbox already right now. So this is a key step to making this work, guys. So make sure you make this your home Xbox. So it's already my home Xbox right here. So you're going to select that. And once that is on, you're going to scroll down to network now. We're going to go into network settings now. There's a couple different things different. As I said, from PC, it's not all... Uh, the exact same otherwise if it was we just go in right to network science doing that change in time of date blah, blah blah so you have to make it your home xbox first you have to go down to network we're going to select our network settings here now if you are on wireless connection it'll bring up these four things uh right here if you're on wired connection unlike me then these two things will come up right here just uh go offline and advanced settings and for wireless 
they will bring up these four things. But the thing that we both have, uh, wired or wireless, is go offline. So this is what we're going to be using. You're going to select go offline, and then they'll basically disconnect you from all Wi-Fi. It's the most simple way to do it. So once you have gone offline, we're going to then scroll into system. Now, we're not actually doing this yet, guys. We're going to do a hard re reset for our console. But as you guys can see, uh, the only things that we will be able to select, so if we go down from network to system, and we select time here, the only thing that our select the only things that are selectable currently are is our time zone as you guys can see we can select that and then our automatically adjust for daylight saving but over to our right we actually have our date and time currently it's thursday may 23rd uh 2019 so the way we actually make that selectable is actually very easy we can scroll down here to power and startup and we can select um turn off or restart so we're going to select restart for that or you can hit your xbox pause menu again we can scroll over to where you started and you scroll down to just restart console. Once it loads back up, you will simply be able to change the time and date. So, now with this is a bit different. So you just want to set your time and date, you know, whatever date you want, it's up to you. Like a couple days, week in the future, just giving you guys an example. And then, yeah, that's that. So then you want to load up Forza once you save your settings and you're not going to go online. With my home Xbox enabled, it's like automatically online. It's a bit weird, guys, but you're still selected on offline so once you've gone offline and we've restarted our console or so once we've set our xbox as our home xbox we've gone offline we've restart our console we've changed the time and date and then we load it back up you're not going to want to go back online guys kind of glitched to be back online with my home xbox guys you guys will see that when you try it for yourself um so the way you're actually going to be set back to your normal current date is by actually going back online by selecting go online because once you're offline it'll just the only thing will be there was it will be go online so you're not going to select that until you're done doing all your force on challenges and purchasing rare cars they'll be added to your garage and then so you can just keep doing this all day guys and then grinding out to get rare cars and then changing time and date more and more and they'll work out and then you just want to click go online once and then you it'll uh, quit forza and then you restart it back up then it's as easy as that guys will be on your current um date and season and all that and you'll have all the red cards you got in your garage that's it for the glitch guys find a if you found today's video helpful make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new and you haven't already hope you guys did enjoy and found today's video helpful let me know what you thought of the glitch down in the comments and i'll catch you guys very very soon in the next one